Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Amalfi. Amalfi is a town and comune in the province of Salerno, in the region of Campania, Italy, on the Gulf of Salerno. It lies at the mouth of a deep ravine, at the foot of Monte Ceretto, surrounded by dramatic cliffs and coastal scenery. The town of Amalfi was the capital of the maritime republic known as the Duchy of Amalfi, an important trading power in the Mediterranean between 839 and around 1200. In the 1920s and 1930s, Amalfi was a popular holiday destination for the British upper class and aristocracy. Amalfi is the main town of the coast on which it is located, named Costiera Amalfitana, and is today an important tourist destination together with other towns on the same coast, such as Positano, Ravello and others. Amalfi is included in the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. A patron saint of Amalfi is St. Andrew, the Apostle, whose relics are kept here at Amalfi Cathedral. Amalfi occupied a high position in medieval architecture, its Cathedral of Sant'Andrea, the Campanile, the Convent of the Cappuccini, founded by the Amalfitan Cardinal Pietro Capuano, richly represent the artistic movement prevailing in southern Italy at the time of the Normans, with its tendency to blend the Byzantine style with the forms and sharp lines of the northern architecture. At the top of a staircase, St. Andrew's Cathedral overlooks the Piazza Duomo, the heart of Amalfi. The cathedral dates back to the 11th century, its interior is adorned in the late Baroque style with a nave and two aisles divided by 20 columns. The facade of the cathedral is Byzantine in style and is adorned with various paintings of saints, including a large fresco of St. Andrew. The gold case and ceiling has four large paintings by Andrea Dellista. They depict the flagellation of St. Andrew, the miracle of manna, the crucifixion of St. Andrew and the saint on the cross. From the left-hand nave there is a flight of stairs which leads to the crypt. These stairs were built in 1203 for Cardinal Pietro Capuano, who, on May 18, 1208, brought St. Andrew's remains to the cathedral from Constantinople. The bronze statue of St. Andrew in the cathedral was sculpted by Michelangelo Nacarino, a pupil of Michelangelo, also present are Pietro Bernini marble sculptures of St. Stephen and St. Lawrence. In 1206, St. Andrew's relics were brought to Amalfi from Constantinople by the Pietro Capuano following the sack of Constantinople after the completion of the town's cathedral. The cathedral contains a tomb in its crypt that it maintains still holds a portion of the relics of the Apostle. A golden reliquary which originally housed his skull and another one used for processions through Amalfi on holy days can also be seen. The structure of the arsenal consists of two large stone-built halls with vaulting supported by repeated pointed arches. The vaulting rests on 10 piers originally there were 22, the missing 12 in the structure they supported having been lost to centuries of coastal erosion. The main function of the arsenal was the building, repair and storage of warships. Amalfit and war galleys were among the largest to be found in the Mediterranean during the early Middle Ages. The building now contains architectural and sculptural remains, a row barge used in the historical regatta, a number of models of ships and it also acts as a venue for visual art exhibitions. Starting from December 2010, the ancient arsenals of Amalfi host the Compass Museum on the premises of the two aisles of the building, which were spared by the Amalfi Seaquake of 1343. The Museum of Handmade Paper, located in Mill Valley in the northern part of the modern town, celebrates the long-established paper-making tradition in Amalfi. The town was one of the first centers of paper-making in Europe, the skill having been acquired by the Amalfitans from the Arabs. The museum is housed in an ancient paper mill which was once owned by the Milano family, a family famous in Amalfi for its involvement in the production and manufacture of paper. In 1969 the building was converted into a museum as a result of the will of Nicholas Milano, the mill's then owner. The museum contains the machinery and equipment that was once used to manufacture paper by hand. The Amalfi Coast is famed for its production of limoncello liqueur and the area is a known cultivator of lemons. The correct name is Sfusido Amalfitano and they are typically long and at least double the size of other lemons, with a thick and wrinkled skin and a sweet and juicy flesh without many pips. It is common to see lemons growing in the terraced gardens along the entire Amalfi coast between February and October. Amalfi is also a known maker of a handmade thick paper which is called bambagina. It is exported to many European countries and to America and has been used throughout Italy for wedding invitations, visiting cards and elegant writing paper. The paper has a high quality and has been used by artists such as Giuseppe Leone, who described it, there is a whole world that the Amalfi paper evokes, and an artist who is sensitive to the suggestion of these places is aware that it is unique and exciting. Three traditional events draw numerous visitors to Amalfi. First are the feast days of St. Andrew, celebrating the city's patron saint. Then there is Byzantine New Year's Eve celebrating the beginning of the new year according to the old civil calendar of the Byzantine Empire. The third event is the historical regatta, 
a traditional rowing competition among the four best-known Italian historical maritime republics, Amalfi, Genoa, Pisa and Venice. This event is hosted by a different city every year, so it comes to Amalfi once every four years. Amalfi can be reached using the SS-163 Amalfitana State Road, the SR-366 Regional Road and the SB-252 Provincial Road. The port of Amalfi has passenger connections to Capri, Positano, Mary, Minori, Citara and Salerno. The nearest airports are, Salerno-Ponticagnano Airport 45 km, Napoli-Capodicino 74 km.